Hey, it's Lee Allen, and I'm out in the field in a remote location in Massachusetts, and I'm looking for owls, and I brought some tech with me to help find them because this is about five acres of wood, and it's really hard to see them. They're so camouflaged that I brought this piece of tech, and it is a FLIR One Pro thermal imaging camera and you plug the module into the bottom of your cell phone and it doesn't use the camera of the cell phone it just uses the display to um, display the thermal imaging so it has two cameras of its own one is a thermal imaging camera and the other one is a standard 1080p and what it does the software inside will Take the t a 1080p image every time you take an image and overlay it on your thermal image because thermal images tend to be just an orange blob. But by putting a 1080 image over it, it defines the edges of your object so that you have a better idea of what it is you're looking at. So we're going to go out here and uh, we're going to look for owls with this. And uh, let's see how it goes. Now this is the area we're in. Like I said, it's about five acres. Um, a lot of it has been stripped clear. So one of the things I wanted to mention is that I'm using a 600 millimeter lens. It's a long zoom and we don't want to disturb the owls. It's bad enough their habitat's disappearing. We do not want to stress them further by um, you know, encroaching on their territory. So we're going to be a long ways away from these owls if we find them. And this is the kind of wooded area that um, great horned owls will be in. I've been out here and photographed them previously, so I know there are some out here. And um, they like tall old trees. So let's go. So we're out here and we have seen two owls flying all around. So now we're just going to sit still and um, keep monitoring this um, thermal camera. I don't know. Yeah, you're not going to be able to really see what the camera is seeing as far as the tree line and everything. But there's a little bit of an image on there. It's, it's, uh, you've got to really watch it. So. So I'm back home in my own yard and I want to talk a little bit about the results we got with the FLIR One Pro camera system. It is not marketed for wildlife or birding. It's marketed to contractors for uh, locating HVAC problems and whatnot and it works very well for that. I've seen videos of it. The company does make wildlife thermal cameras 
They're monoculars. They have about four different ones. And I'd really like to try and get one of those on loan for the future to redo this video with a flare thermal imaging camera that was actually marketed for wildlife. This I borrowed because I wanted to find, I have a little hummingbird in my yard that I named Lola, that I chronicle her life in the backyard here on my YouTube channel and on my blog at leeellen.com. And I wanted to find her nest, put a trail camera on it, and you know, that would be really neat, of course, to have all of uh, Lola's, well, two babies is usually what they have. But anyway, it would not work for hummingbirds. I would point it at Lola, who was on my hummingbird feeder, and the thermal image never came up at all. So apparently this isn't sensitive, sensitive enough for a bird that small. So, um, and out with the owls, I did get a couple videos of owls flying, and I got one photo out of 157 of an owl sitting still in a tree. Um, but that's not very good results, so I really can't recommend this to anyone for any kind of birding. Perhaps wildlife, dogs, chipmunks, squirrels show up great, even if they're hidden behind brush but not something that has a, a, birds are hard for thermal imaging anyway because their feathers are a natural insulator and it keeps in their heat so they even though a hummingbird runs at about 104 degrees fahrenheit that's not the temperature that's being given off outside of the bird so um, i'm hoping to redo this in the future that would be really neat to get one of those binoculars and go out there and look for the owls again um, but we'll see.